See, over the last few years, we have seen that consumers become a lot more savvy. Uh, as the newer generations are getting in, uh, we know they are a lot more purpose driven. So they really do care about sustainability and the purpose of the organization. Is the organization genuinely caring for the people and the planet, not just the profits? Because ultimately it comes down to uh, some compromises you have to make as an organization that is this product good for uh, the profitability? And am I going to have to compromise the profits in favor of the, uh, the planet and, and the community and the people we serve? So uh, we believe that uh, at Body Shop, that consumers are more savvy, they are more purpose driven, and they are looking at how to uh, look at their own footprint and leave the, the planet better off than when they inherited it. Uh, making it a better place to live for the next generation. So we believe that uh, purpose is very important for any organization to have and that is one of the key reasons why as the body shop we are so focused on all of these pieces. See I get asked this question a lot about because we are doing a lot of digital transformation then how do you marry digital transformation with sustainability for example? That's exactly what you're asking. How do you leverage digital or technology to make an impact to the planet? Now here's a very simple example and it's becoming a lot more common these days as compared to when we implemented it, right? Where you give special points to your customers if they bring back the used bottles that are one-time plastic used bottles, right? They bring it back and then you give them something in return. For example, extra points, loyalty points, or you give them uh, a special discount. But what you're doing is uh, you're really encouraging the behavior of returning a one-time use plastic or a bottle which is not used and instead of throwing it away or tossing it off, you're really encouraging them to recycle it. That's very important because the behavior is something that shows how you can leverage technology and digital with our systems and tools built into place to encourage sustainable behavior for the consumer. That's just one example. There are many, many ways where we can truly uh, leverage technology, uh, AI, ML, to service our customer for superior experience while making sure that we uh, keep sustainability and, and care for the plant at the heart of it. See, when you come to think about for a minute how you would shop, right? When you shop, you're not thinking I'm gonna shop online versus offline. You're thinking I want to shop this product and I want to get the best product that suits me. Let's say you're shopping for sunglasses or you, look, or you shop for body gel, anything. Uh, you wanna try it out, you want to uh, do some research and, and that might be happening at 11 o'clock in the night in your bed, on your phone, and, and you're doing all that research using your phone. Uh, next, and then you have some ideas, you read some reviews about it, and you look through multiple brands and products, and you finally realize you like it, but you still want to smell it, right? And, and you want to touch it and feel it. So uh, on your way to office in the morning or during lunch break, you stop by the store and you actually try it out. So it's not really from a customer journey standpoint, offline versus online, it's all seamless. It needs to be seamless for the consumer, right? Uh, so, and, and they might come to the store and then they say, oh wow, I love this product, but they don't buy it. Because in their mind they're thinking, oh, I saw that there uh, is another platform, let's say Marketplace, have a better discount. I might go and buy it tonight when I go back home. Or I want to talk to my wife before I buy it. All those things could come into play, right? So it really, when you look at omni-channel, the purpose of omnichannel is to say that in a customer journey, it could be any channel, any time, any location, any uh, part of the journey, back and forth. And, and allow the customer to have complete and seamless experience through that, immersive experience through that. So that's really the goal of it. And, and as a retailer, it's our job to make sure we enable that. Does that answer the question for you? And that's why it's a really good question. I uh, talk a lot about hyper-personalization and customer segmentation of one. Not customer segmentation of a group of uh, 100,000 customers or you know a, a demographic or something like that. I'm talking about customer segmentation of one because you're looking at hyper-personalization. Every specific customer should be treated as a customer who is very important to the brand as compared to a group of people who have similarities. When you focus on each an individual person as opposed to a group, then you're able to do a lot more personalized experience and, and engagement with that person. You know what kind of uh, 
uh, things they like, what they do not like, how they like to be reached out, what they do not like things. So, that way you can really make that impact by truly being genuine and, and engaging with that customer. So, that is why it is important that uh, you leverage the technology and, and leverage tools that are allowing you to do hyper personalization and customer segmentation of one as I say it uh, to, uh, to make that impact from the customer journey standpoint.